Well, 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 welcome to another magic moment. Mon day. Today, you might be wondering, why are you doing a magic moment Monday with a woman sitting next to you? <laughs> well, because she is the magic moment Monday. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, senores y senoras, this is Santa Victoria, the next Oprah, my right hand woman for the last two, three, four, five, 18 years. Really, two, three years. I thought it was 24. 24. Left the fours. <laughs> and uh, just really have so much love for this woman, so much respect, so much admiration, so much awe. Um, and I just, you know, we wanted to share with you the story of who is this woman, what does she love, how did we meet, and today's magic moment is really about that. So, Santa, why don't you tell uh, the It's Your Hour fam of which you're such an integral part of? who you are and uh, and how we met. Yeah, well, thank you, Brian, for that introduction. That's a lot to live up to. Oh my gosh, I'm blushing. <laughs> um, but <laughs> the way that we met was I stumbled upon Brian's TED Talk, and the moment I saw him, like I had this gut feeling like, yo, I have to work for this guy. And so I like, reached out to him, and you know, I was like trying to play it coy, and I was like, hey, Brian, what's up? I want to be a motivational speaker too. Do you have 15 minutes for uh, an inter Do you have 15 minutes for an information? interview <laughs> and then he was like no I don't but I have time for an internship interview and in my head I was like yes because that's what I was going to ask for anyway. Right? Yeah, you yeah. see, telepathy already. <laughs> so I reached out to him, or so then he called me, he looked at my LinkedIn, he saw that I was like pretty qualified and actually into speaking. So he interviewed me and he liked me and the rest is history. The first thing that I saw about Santa was that she had a speech on the advantages of coffee. Oh yeah. <laughs> and so today, the magic moment Monday, addition, in addition to this young lady, is the bulletproof coffee that we are drinking, which consists of, and so we drink this every morning in San Francisco, and sometimes last summer too, um, but every morning in San Francisco, and now we're honoring the bulletproof coffee, Dave Asprey, if you're watching, we love you. Uh, look, we should get Dave Asprey yeah, on the show. Yeah, oh my gosh, you're coming to the, the show. next Magic Moment Monday. <clears throat> Maybe not the next one, because we don't know him, but like, at some point. So, uh, coffee, Salted, unsalted butter, although Santa only uses coconut oil because um, she is uh, vegan, <laughs> veg vegan, you know? No animal and products. No animal products. And then, um, and then a little bit of maple syrup in mine, and then you have some sugar in yours. Yeah. Um, so, we want to toast Magic Moment Monday to this coffee, to Bulletproof, to friendship, to being It'll partners in business and uh, being the next Oprah. And we thought it would be, so cheers. Cheers. Thank you, love cheers. you. Love you. We thought it would be fun for you guys if Santa and I did a rapid fire Q&A for each other, because we used to do a podcast together in San Francisco. And the other thing that we used to do is we would eat a piece of chocolate right before our podcast, which is at 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So we wanted to just kind of, in the name of that, we're gonna turn this into a podcast. So those of you who are listening to this as a podcast, thank you for listening. Um, in the name of that collaboration that we had, we, we loved so much, where people would call in and write in with questions, uh, we wanted to do a little rapid fire Q&A of each other so we could get to know each other a little bit more and also you guys need to know Santa and get to know me through the eyes of each other. Okay, my first question to you. It's going to be fast. Okay. Go. Did you imagine you would have an office in the financial district of Manhattan? No. Um, what was the biggest moment of impact of your life so far in one sentence? Drinking bulletproof coffee. Okay. Oh, oh my god, I'm gonna stand still. Um, what kind of deodorant do you wear? Waleda Natural Sage Deodorant, also have citrus brand. You can apply it as many times as you want, and I advise that you do. Um, Are you paid by them? I'm not, I have no paid affiliations <laughs> by anything that you've ever seen. No one pays me to say anything nice about them, uh, including you. Okay, my question for you. Yes. Um, what do you think? Where do you think you will live when Inc. Magnet, when one of the major publications, I don't know who that publication will be at the time, names you the next Oprah? Where will you be living? Oh my gosh, I'll have a few different houses. One will be in Tiburon, California. I already know the address, yeah, I know you and do. I'm not gonna say it right now, but a sign that I know that it's meant for me is that the address starts with 100, and it's exactly 100 miles from my childhood home, and it has all the amenities that I want, like a steam room. Oh, gotta have a steam room, or why do you have a house anyway? I'm kidding. <laughs> Oh my god, I can't believe I just said that. Okay, anyway, and 
has a beautiful view of San Francisco and it's just absolutely gorgeous. So it's really wrap it okay. up. Fire <laughs> wrap it. So I'll be living there. That's one of my houses. Wow. Also have a house down in downtown Manhattan. Obviously I'm not gonna live at all of them at the same time. I'll probably have like an Airbnb business going on as well, because like you know, I've got to generate income. And then I'll probably have a house in Denmark too, because I've never been there, but I know that I want to live there. Alright, cool. Yeah. Your question. Um if you could be on any TV show ever, what would it be? Like Why? current TV show right now? Yeah. Uh, I would love to appear. I want my own reality TV show. <laughs> okay. If you had to come as a guest on someone else's show, what would it be? Billions. Love it. Love Billions. <laughs> what if you had to be a guest no. on a show that's not fiction, like Oprah or something? Oh, if anyone's show yeah. that currently have a show? Mm -hmm. I think it'd be fun to be on Good Morning America because my mom is obsessed with Good Morning America and I would love- Oh, I would also like to be- I would like to walk with Marcus Lomanis onto the Prophet show. That'd, That'd be fun. That'd be so cool. Alright, my turn. Okay. Um, what is the most influential book you've ever read in your life? Ooh, that's a good one. The most influential book I ever read is called You Are a Badass or You Are a Bad ASS. I don't know if we're allowed to pass on YouTube. Jen Sincero, she is the epitome of an empowered woman. The reason why it is so important to me and is so influential is because like it goes through all areas of how to be the best version of yourself. Not just like how to make a lot of money, but it also talks about like how to dig into your subconscious mind and like really look at your limited subconscious beliefs and like just how to like tap into the mother load of opportunity that is in the universe and is all around you. So it is by far on all ends of the spectrum, the best book. You have to go read it. It will change your life even if you're like like eating two dollar tacos every single day or like you're living the life of your dreams like wherever you are in life like it will this, help you this is it. it's an amazing amazing you amazing book jen i love you okay jen, she loves you. i don't know who you are but she loves you <laughs> i would love to meet you someday next question okay. remember these are rapid okay, round okay, questions okay, okay, okay. your question what is your favorite thing about new york mm, that everything can change in one second why do you like that yes because it makes every second of every day with the potential of it being the life changing moment in your life. I think that's magical. Um, if you were to write a book about your, if someone were to have, were to create a movie about your life, what would you want it to be called? Ooh, Rapid you'll fire. be on my naughty list. <laughs> Do you think you should get a haircut? Yes. Do you have any, what is your big goal of the fall 2017? To find a nice house located 45 minutes within my work. Holler. Yeah, yeah. holler one she time. Wants part. She wants to just want a room, right? Yeah, room? Okay. yeah. Your turn. Um, where do you see yourself in five years? No idea. Um, but if I had to guess, I would probably say doing something like this, which would be have a, have a home base, probably in New York, and spend six months of the year here with the team and the other six months of the year traveling, speaking, and meeting clients. <laughs> um, what is the best thing that anyone has ever told you as advice? Ooh. The best piece of advice you've ever received. Don't romanticize things from him. Uh, so the idea really is, is that everyone has an idea of how things should be and because they have that idea, they stick to it and they like try to put a square inside of a circle peg and it just doesn't work where Brian has taught me how to be adaptable and just because your idea that you're romantic about doesn't work, well, you gotta adapt, you gotta be nimble and you got to fix yourself to the certain situation. So don't be romantic, you gotta adapt to things. Cool. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> we'll do two more each. Okay, two more each. Who is the Spot. biggest mentor in your life? My parents. Yeah. My my dad taught me to be a good person. That he, my dad is an upstanding citizen. My dad taught me how to be a hard worker. My dad taught me to never complain. Mm -hmm. My dad taught me that uh, no one cares about your bad days. He taught me tough toughness, mental toughness, as well as physical toughness. My mother is the most generous person I've ever met. My mother's the most caring, giving person I've ever met. My mother's the most selfless woman I've ever met. And she really did make me feel like I could do anything. Um, what's your favorite thing about yourself? Ooh, my favorite thing about myself is my ability to bounce back from bad situations. Okay. Um, oh, your turn. So last question. Oh my God. We'll do two more. This is okay, fun. okay, good. <laughs> I was kind of sad. Why do you admire Walt Disney so much? Because Walt Disney makes things come to life. Like Beauty and the Beast is a perfect example. The scene of Beauty and the Beast where Belle is like dancing 
and all of a sudden the trinkets and the teapots and the candles all come to life. Like, I just think that, that the same reason I love New York City, like in a moment everything can change and become very mystical and whimsical and I just believe so much in magic. Um, your question, if you could change one thing about yourself, what would you change? Sorry, not rep, that I can answer questions faster. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, um, appearance or maybe? no, just or whatever, anything. It's, you, you open it. Mm, I wish I were a little bit taller. I wish I were a baller. I wish I had a magic. Hat. Good old call. I wish I had a rabbit and a hat and a hat and a baller. <laughs> All right, your question. Okay, if 21-year-old Brian Rashid were to see the Brian Rashid that you are right now, yeah. what would he think? He would think. Um, yeah, it's about right. Really? Yeah. He would think it's about right. Um, yeah, I think I think he'd think it was about right. That is so special. I like that. I like the question. All right, last question for you. If today was your last day on Earth, and for the next twenty-four hours your message would be shouted from the rooftops of every single building in the world. And the billboard would be displayed from every single building in the world. What would your message to the world be? Love is everything. I love this woman. I love you for watching. Thank you for watching our Magic Moment Monday with the one and only Santa Victoria. Santa, thank you for everything you do. Thank you. And for us. Thanks guys. Bye guys.